Alejandro Domínguez. Me comentaba que me ha hecho mucha ilusión que, que ha venido a muchas de las conferencias que hemos ido haciendo a lo largo de los años. O sea, que guay que ahora estés tú del, del otro lado. Y cuando hablé con él para, para la conferencia, me decía, oye, pero es que yo quiero darles muchas pistas de cómo ha ido a mí, explicarles cosas muy concretas, de cómo, cómo funciona. Pensé, digo, pues seguro que les va a interesar, porque seguramente son preguntas que os hacéis cotidianamente de cosas que vas a puesto, cómo llegas a gente que crees que no puedes llegar, pero te pones en contacto. Vamos, que nos va a desvelar el, el secreto del éxito. ¿okay? Hago la intro en castellano porque eh, Álvaro a la, la conferencia en inglés. Así que nada, le damos la bienvenida y, a, y ya vamos con él. Gracias, Álvaro. Solo una cosa más, acordaros luego cuando acabe Álvaro que las preguntas con el micro, si no, no, la, no las oye la gente de casa. ¿vale? Gracias. Um, hi, um, this is an English class, uh, so no, I'm kidding. Uh, so my name is Alvaro Dominguez. Uh, it's a small example of my designer. Can you hear me? I mean, the, this is working. A small example of Studied illustration, illustration, but in the local school of arts of my hometown. But I didn't become an illustrator right away. Actually, uh, when I finished the, the my yeah, I, I'm not sure if this is working properly. I think it feels a bit Right, right. Okay. And now? Better? Okay, perfect. Um, so when I finished my illustration in the room, uh, I, I switched to graphic design and I started to work in a, in a local newspaper, in a small local newspaper of my hometown. Um, because as a graphic designer it was easier to get a study job, or at least it was my opinion at that time. And after three years working there, I decided to start to work in an agency as a graphic designer as well. And in 2010, I quit my job in the agency and I moved to this beautiful city. And I studied a topography master at ANA. And it, was, it went really well. And a teacher of mine hired me for her studio to do what? To do newspapers again. Um, but after one year working there, they told me they didn't need me anymore because we were in the middle of a big financial crisis. A different crisis than the one we are in the middle right now, but uh, still a crisis. Um, I was trying to get a, a new job. Uh, I, I was sending my portfolio to studios, agencies, newspapers, but uh, nobody was hiring me. So I was 30 years old, I was unemployed, and I had to find another way to get money. So since nobody wanted to hire me as a graphic designer, what else could I do? Well, I considered various options, but since I studied illustration, uh, I thought the most obvious path was uh, working as an illustrator, but uh, since I was familiar uh, with the editorial field, I worked in newspapers, uh, I thought, okay, maybe I can do something as an editorial illustrator. Uh, I was very inspired by people like Paul Serre and Christoph Lehmann. Uh, I really, really, really loved their images, very smart images like, and very conceptual stuff for very well-known clients, such as Time or New York Times or New Yorker or Wire. And I thought, okay, maybe I can do that. I can do illustrations for publications and all that stuff. And maybe I, it's, a, it's a way to make money, I don't know. 
So I told my parents about this. They didn't think it was such a great idea. And actually, they still think it's not such a great idea. Um, but I tried anyway. Uh, so in 2013, I started this new career as a freelance HR illustrator. But, uh, I mean, the situation here in Spain, it wasn't so good. I mean, it was pretty terrible. Um, so I, I knew many cases of illustrators from Spain, from Europe, working for American publications. So I thought, okay, maybe I can do that. I can do illustrations for American publications. Uh, but if you want to collaborate with American companies, you need to speak English. But at that time, I didn't speak English. Like nothing, like zero, like, like nada. Uh, so I had to study like super hard and super quickly. And see, now I speak like Shakespeare now. And I prepared a, a portfolio, a, like a very minimalist portfolio, like ridiculous. Um, I don't know, I, uh, how could I think people were going to hire me with this <laughs> portfolio? But anyway, I, I started to learn a lot about uh, publications uh, uh, and the who is who, who is the who is the creative director, who is the art director, who is the graphic designer, who is almost the cleaning lady. Uh, just to send them my portfolio, just to send them an email with, with my portfolio. Uh, this was the email I used to send, um, like very short email. Um, because short, because I understood these people were super busy and I didn't want to take more of their time. And the only thing I needed to send this email was an email address. Um, sometimes it was super easy to find these emails because, you know, there is a thing called the internet. Um, but sometimes it was difficult. Uh, and if I didn't have those emails, I just guessed them. I just guessed them. I just put all these combinations, like one combination per email. I hit send and the emails starting bouncing back until one doesn't, and that means that's the correct one. So I sent a lot of emails, like a lot, like a lot, like hundreds and 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 hundreds of emails. And I mean, I, I still send emails. And actually, I, I, <laughs> the reason I'm, I'm, I'm here today is because I sent an email to Mark, and actually we didn't know each other, and I didn't have his email, but anyway, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, I sent, like, a lot of emails and nobody was replying, like, nobody. Until one day, I received a response. A response from, from God, from the God of the newspapers, the New York Times. And the response was from one of the art directors. Uh, he said, our deadlines are letter crazy, and the sketches and a final piece of art are required on the same day, but if you are interested in working quickly, then I'd be happy to work with you on something. It was an empty promise because uh, uh, one week after, he gave me my first assignment for the New York Times. And you can see here the specs of that first assignment, including the budget. Um, I was super nervous. I was super, super, super nervous because it was my very first time working for an American publication. It was my very first time working in English. Uh, it was my very first time working for the New York Times and I was super, super nervous. Uh, to any email of the art director, I was like, thanks, oh, thank you, perfect, oh, okay. Like, like, like with uppercases and exclamation marks, like, I don't know. Uh, so thanks to the help of that art director, uh, this was the image, my first image for the New York Times. It wasn't spectacular, it wasn't, but uh, yeah, I was super happy. Uh, so fortunately, I received more opportunities from the New York Times, uh, for example, this one about the internet censorship in China. And I don't know if you see the arrow. Um, here, uh, you can see the, the specs of, of the assignment. I'm going to show you 
the, the information about all the assignments I'm going to show you in this, in this talk. Um, so anyway, if you have any question about any particular assignment, please let me know at the end of the talk. Uh, so they were giving me more opportunities, like for example, uh, discover for one of the uh, supplements, the book review supplement. And little by little, I started to receive more opportunities from other publications, like for example, The Atlantic. And you know, very well-known publications are giving you opportunities. So I started to, pre to put pressure on me uh, and I wanted, really wanted to do a quality work, like best work possible. And, and I started to collaborate. I was very into this uh, photographic style, like object and color background. And, and I, 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 I'm not a photographer, so I started to collaborate with, with uh, photographers. And I was very into this idea of uh, building objects. So I started to collaborate with a workshop close to my apartment. And they helped me like a lot with these objects. As, as you can see, I have a, a lot of energy and zero business idea because with these uh, budgets and these scales, it was almost impossible. This this uh, process. Um, but I, I, uh, and the Atlantic were giving me um, more opportunities. And actually, I started with them a monthly collaboration for a technology column. So that very minimalist portfolio that I saw you, um, well, started to be a little bit bigger. Um, and like 90% of the uh, illustrations were about technology. <laughs> and fortunately, I received more opportunities from, for example, Cosmopolitan out and other topics like this one about uh, how to make uh, talking about sex less awkward and more sexy. Um, or for example, this one, uh, um, the Republican Party fights, fighting against poor for political. And I started to collaborate with a 3D artist as well. Um, 3D, I mean, it was much, much easier than uh, building objects, and <laughs> taking photographs and all that stuff. So. So yeah, the process started to be a little uh, bit easier. And I started to give, uh, I started to receive opportunities to do covers as well. For example, this one for Warrons, or this one for a very well-known publication like Newsweek. And I did this one for uh, the Soccer World Cup in Russia in 2018. Um, I'm going to show you some sketches uh, I mean, this is this is what I do. I mean, if, if I have to do a cover about soccer and about Russia, I just combine elements of I don't know soccer and Russia. Like for example, uh, the soccer ball and the Russian doll. So for example, uh, putting with the trophy, and they chose this one, and we went with the final with this one with the help of the three D artist. Um, and I started actually to receive opportunities to, from, from outside of the editorial field. For example, this one for Showtime, they, they gave me the opportunity to do uh, the promotional posters for the seventh season of Homeland, uh, the TV show. And I started to see uh, my work in a billboard in Hollywood or I mean, uh, in, in the subway in New York. And, and I started to think my, my work was important, and it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, and I, I started to work like, like a lot, like a lot. Like I kept working, 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 like almost like 24 7. Um, this is the drama part. If you have a couple of pieces close to you, um, uh, honestly, I was burned out, like, like burned out. Um, even though I was like successful, uh, I felt insecure, like really insecure. Like I had a lot of insecurities, a lot of doubts, a lot of fears, like many, 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 many fears. Um, maybe you, you can ask, but afraid of what? Good question. 
I was afraid of not coming up with new and smart ideas. I was afraid of never being hired again. I was afraid of what other people could think about me and my work. Afraid of not being confident enough. Afraid of not being professional enough. Afraid of not being as good as others. Afraid of competitiveness. Afraid of, of success. Afraid of failure. Afraid of having attention or afraid of lack of attention. Afraid of feeling stuck with a style. Afraid of being too late to change anything in my career. Afraid of handling the pressure badly. Afraid of perfection. Afraid of imperfection. Afraid of working on something my parents don't understand. Afraid of not enjoying my work. Afraid of feeling I couldn't last many years working that way. Afraid of not knowing what I'm doing with my life. Afraid of worrying too much. Afraid of being afraid. Afraid of stress. Afraid of falling sick. Afraid of falling seriously sick and not being able to work. Afraid of falling seriously sick, not being able to work and not making money. Afraid of running out of money. Afraid of my wife leaving me. Afraid of being remembered as a failure or, or worse. Afraid of not being remembered at all. Afraid of dying alone and afraid of nobody going to my funeral. And this is an illustrator on the ground. So, in 2019, I, I realized I needed a change, a, a personal and professional change. Um, I don't know, I had this very, 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 very nice Instagram account um, full of uh, images, like very polished and perfect images for very well-known clients. And um, I don't know, I don't know about your opinion, but this is not the face of somebody who enjoys his work. <laughs> it isn't, no. So I started to do these Instagram stories. And I started to do this stuff like very different from the stuff I was doing uh, for clients. Like, um, I don't know, with all these emojis and GIFs and all this stuff with this and I don't know, I don't know, I, I, I was doing this, I, it wasn't because followers, it wasn't because likes, it just felt good. And some friends started to send me messages like, hey, Albert, are, are you okay? I mean, <laughs> 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 like, like, like uh, do, do you need to talk about anything or, <laughs> or do you need help? Um, and I don't know, it's, for the very first time in a long time, I, I was enjoying myself. And I like, put in all this stuff, like kittens and puppies and bananas, I don't know why, and explosions and more explosions and rainbows. And, and I don't know, I started to do this stuff, like, like on these Instagram stories, like uh, daily, like every day, every day, every day, every day. Uh, as a daily habit. And I learned a lot uh, about daily habits uh, through this book. Um, I learned how small changes in your life, um, small daily habits, in a long term, can have a big impact, a great impact in your life. And very inspired by, by this book, I started this calendar. This is in my fridge, in the door of my fridge. This daily habits calendar. Um, I wanted to improve some aspects of, or some aspects of my life. Of, um, uh, like, for example, taking more control of my time, going to bed earlier, or going to the gym every day, or, I don't know, healthy uh, like habits like meditation or uh, all that stuff. Um, and the way this calendar works is very easy. I mean, if you do a habit, you put an X. And in a very easy way, you uh, can see the habits you do and the ones you are not doing. And I don't know, I, uh, there were big, big changes. Like, for example, reading. I went from reading like zero, like, like zero, like literally zero to reading every day. I started to read like, I don't know, for a, a wide variety of, of topics and, and I discovered that I was interested in, in humor, for example, as well. Um, and I, I started to learn uh, comedy, comedy memoirs. 
uh, because I wanted to learn more about people who put joy out there. Um, this uh, amazing Instagram account <laughs> uh, went from this to this. And I started to do this stuff, like daily, and I don't know, for the very first time, more focus on quantity than on quality. I wasn't so interested in making perfect, just perfect stuff anymore. And it was an interesting practice because um, it was a practice of not judging myself. It was a practice of not judging what I was doing. Um, and I discovered that the funny thing is people are going to hire me or not for what I saw I can do. Uh, because one day I received in 2019 this, this email from New York Times. Uh, this uh, director uh, was giving me the opportunity to do the uh, cover for the Sunday Review supplement. The cover story, he said, uh, is about the study of cuteness, uh, how we react uh, to cute things like babies, puppies, etc. And he said, could be fun to do a mass up of ridiculously cute imagery, go crazy with Getty images, like wing, wing. Um, like, I mean, at that point of my life, I was an expert doing that. Uh, so I started to do these sketches, like very inspired by, by my Instagram stories, like <laughs> full of rainbows and puppies and kittens and color and explosions and all this stuff. And, and the funny thing is, is for the very first time in, in, I don't know, in a long time, I was enjoying uh, uh, an assignment. Uh, and in the end, they chose, they chose this one. And, and I don't know, I was super happy with this process from the beginning to the end. And I told about this to the, to the art director. Um, and he said, so glad to hear your ideas have been eliciting sounds of joy whenever people see them. So, um, I don't know, it was the beginning of something new in some way, because not only I, I, I enjoyed the process from the beginning to the end, I, I made people happy in that process in some way. So, uh, it was like a win-win. Uh, and a few months uh, later, uh, Time contacted me, and they gave me the opportunity to do the Time cover which is, uh, I don't know, a big deal. Uh, so I did this. Uh, again, I put some elements of my Instagram stories, like explosions and, and uh, stars and all this stuff in this very important and serious cover. Um, I slowly started to feel more free and to try new stuff because I still was very into that photographic style uh, and I wanted to do, I don't know, something new. Um, I wanted to do these drawings, uh, I don't know why, but uh, these rough, rough drawings, um, I wanted to do this, like, again, like, as a practice, every day. What, what happens if I do this uh, as a practice for, 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 I don't know, for a month, for three months, for six months, for a year, for 10 years, I don't know. Um, so, a thing I, I learned, uh, with uh, uh, through habit, uh, habits is uh, you have to make it easy for you because you know uh, I mean I, I start to do things the first week I'm super full of energy I'm going to do it the rest of my life I'm going to do it the rest of my life second week I quit and so I started to do this PSD file uh, just to avoid the blank page, the, the, the fear of the blank page, and uh, it doesn't matter, so for that reason it doesn't matter if I was uh, tired that day, or, or uh, it was late, or, or it was raining, I mean, I used to open this PSD, I used to start to combine the, those elements, and I don't know, it was a very easy way to uh, put my brain to, to work in a very playful way. Um, maybe I ended up doing something completely different, but this was a very easy way to start. Um, so I started to do these uh, very simple images, but uh, the funny thing is, in a way, they helped me to develop 
this, uh, I don't know, this sense of humor I was very interested in. Um, and uh, it was a surprise for me because uh, I found myself many times uh, laughing in front of the <laughs> screen doing this stuff, which was uh, really new for me. Um, I started to not be afraid to make a fool of myself. The sillier, the better, because I started to do this uh, on Instagram, like hyperrealistic portraits of famous people from far away. Like, what is, the, what is this? Like, for example, obviously, this is a hyperrealistic portrait of Beyonce, but obviously from far, 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 far away. Uh, or this is Mark Zuckerberg, or like, oh, this is Barack and Michelle Obama, like, Barack and Michelle Obama, no. or Colte. And the funny thing is people started to ask me to do portraits of them. And it was, it was actually a really nice way to, to, to contact with people, to, to connect with people. And more stuff with rainbows, and more stuff with rainbows, and more stuff with rainbows, and I don't know why, horses, horses in the space, horses in the water, or cucumbers, cucumber surfing, or pigeon surfing, or poodles surfing, or why not, uh, dogs with sunglasses, more dogs with sunglasses, or with that, more dogs with sunglasses. Um, the thing is, this self-given freedom in my personal work led me to enjoy the process of my professional work more and obtain new types of illustrations. Like, of course, in my opinion, like riskier and funnier. Uh, because I started to collaborate more with Wire, and for example, this one about uh, microtasking. I, I did this thing. Or, uh, for example, about um, uh, for an article about climate change, a very, very serious topic, I put um, a little bit of humor. Or uh, they, uh, Wire gave me the opportunity to do the artwork for one of the uh, Wire uh, podcasts, the Gadget Lab, and I did this with the help of the through the artists. So I had done all this stuff and what I'm doing now. Well, I, as, as you could see, <laughs> I really enjoy my Instagram account. But uh, last Christmas, I decided to, sorry, to close to the public, uh, to the public my, my, my account. And I remove all my, my followers to, to not come back. Um, and actually, uh, I canceled my Netflix subscription, my masterclass subscription, I quit Netflix. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, and, and actually I, I removed my WhatsApp groups. I said to my friends, hey, sorry guys, I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to do an experiment for this year. Uh, sorry. And they said, who are you? Well, the, the thing is, um, why I'm doing this? Because I'm, I'm, I want to take more control of my time and I want to reduce my distractions. At least, let's see what happens for one year. Um, so that means, uh, well, uh, I have to say, uh, first weeks it was like quitting drugs, um, but that means I have more time, like I have like a lot of free time, that's why I'm here. Uh, uh, but uh, that means I, I, I have time for, for doing more experiments, like for example, I started um, a shop in my website with fair prices, I think. Um, and, I, I, and I'm not selling prints, I'm selling uh, JPEGs and GIFs. No, no prints, no prints, JPEGs and GIFs. Uh, sorry, the, the boxers are so loud. Um, and I'm experimenting as well with my contact uh, page. And the, comp the contact page is always a, a very boring page. Uh, so, I don't know, this was like two weeks ago, uh, it was very late at night, uh, I, 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 I said to my wife, hey, what do you think if I have a more interesting uh, email address? 
and she's very supportive and she said one why not 20 and so we started to put to to do this list and i i mean i love rihanna i love her music so i said why not an email like rihanna at alvaradominguez.com and i mean in just in case people need another alternatives uh, they they can use uh, any of these so this was as I said, very, 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 very late, like ridiculous late. Um, that, that kind of late that you start to think like crazy, crazy things. Next morning, like, like the next morning after a party, uh, I started to have regrets, uh, obviously. Um, and I started to think, well, uh, I don't know, it, it, maybe I, I made a huge mistake. And maybe this is the reason I'm going to destroy, finally, my, my career. Um, because, you know, after all these experiments, I'm, I'm still struggling with all those um, doubts and, and insecurities. Um, and uh, at the same day, I received this email from one of the New York Times art directors. She was giving me a, an assignment, so I, uh, it seems there wasn't a problem. Uh, the email. Um, uh, a couple of days uh, later, I received a, a, an email from a new client. I, I didn't know that publication, but I, I, I just did with them um, an assignment. Um, and not only this, actually, uh, Wire contacted me to the proper email. Like, and the director said, hopefully, it's interesting enough to warrant the use of this specific email address, like interesting project at albertomingo.com. And actually, uh, like next day, I received this email from The Economist. They were giving me uh, an assignment and they used the appropriate email. Um, so that's everything. Thank you so much. Claro, sí, sí. ¿Puedo hablar por este? Questions? Thank you. Eh, hola, Álvaro. Thank you so much for your talk. Um, I you. want to talk about money. About money? S yes. So That's like, great. <laughs> <laughs> I saw how you, whenever, like the first project that you did for the New York Times, you had a budget of $300. Yeah. And that went increasing. <laughs> Right by like the second project or so, it was like six fifty, and then you had a thousand dollars. What is that budget for? And like, how did you? What, did you ever negotiate that? No. They were yeah. like, this is the budget, and you were like, thank you. An editorial, an editorial is always like they they give you the the the, the budget. What do you do with that budget? It's like, that's up to you, right? Like if you to <laughs> I, 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 I go to restaurants, uh, for example. <laughs> but no, not now, not now, but no. Uh, no, no, please, continue. No, it was, I, 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 like, I don't know if sometimes, well, I mean, you had projects that were for like one day and they were like $300 and then they give you a yeah. project for a week and they were like $1,500. Mm -hmm. Were you working the entire week or were you like, what, did, where, did you give more time to those projects that were paying you more or did it come and uh, like was it that that's a really actually that's a really good question uh, um, Carlos no I, I that uh, sorry sorry <laughs> that thing, uh, I, I just said my name because I thought you were going to say that's a really good question Carlos but what is your name sorry Carlos Carlos Carlos, Carlos. Yes, yes. thank you so much for your question uh, no, that that is a really really nice question, and I'm still, whoa, I'm still struggling with. I mean, uh, there are assignments that, as you said, uh, I have like a few hours, and there are assignments uh, when I have uh, I don't know uh, even uh, a week or two weeks, and you are asking, what what do you do? Like, what what's the difference? You just spend all the the two weeks doing the, the same uh, 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 assignment, right? Yeah, you, or you like said. If, if, if it's like, um, 
because it, it didn't seem like there was, I, and, and I don't mean this as a Yeah, yeah but there, like, there is no difference, right? Exactly. Yeah, no, it didn't yeah, seem that you were like, doing <laughs> more things. And that's why I was like, maybe if they give you a budget, then you can hire a photographer. Then yeah, they can well, you. sometimes the, the, the budget depends on the size, actually. It's not, it's not the image. Sometimes, sometimes they, gave me, they give me the, 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 um, this, the different budget for, for the same size. No, for for different size, but the image is, is exactly the same. I mean, it's, it's maybe it's a stock image, or maybe it's an image I, I do a 3D with, with the help of the 3D artists. But yeah, you're right. Uh, the difference is basically the, the size, the use, the, the, the publication give to, to that uh, image. is basically that. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm learning to... Um, to be more productive, for example, because, as you said, um, the images uh, that when the, the 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 time was shorter, like it, it was like obviously like you have to do it in a couple of hours. But if I had two weeks, yeah, at, at first it was like, oh, I'm going to work all this time, and now I I try to be more productive with my time. Yeah, and I'm still. I'm still learning. I, oh, I have to be honest, I'm still learning in that process, but I try to not work, sorry, to not work the two weeks. And yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Hey. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, you can, uh, uh, if anybody is not comfortable speaking in, in English. Uh, oh, no, I like would rather speak me. in English, thank you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm not a Spanish speaker. Um, okay, so uh, thank you very much for that. I thought it was very interesting to hear from someone that is very real with what they're doing, and uh -huh. I think you're being very uh, real about it. Uh, coming from a person that also went through burnouts and everything and also like oh, chooses welcome. things <laughs> that today are more uh, into what makes me happy. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I have more of an existential uh, question for you maybe. Um, do you think that it is a process that we have to go through to understand? Or do you think that new generations are going to understand that, or new people that are coming into the market are going to understand that even though they didn't go through it? Because, I don't know, looking back, like, wouldn't you have done the same? Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's the point, you know? Like, aren't you able to choose it today because you went there? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, we always learn uh, with mistakes, unfortunately. So it seems it's uh, at least is the process I know. I, I only, I only learn uh, through through mistakes and, and yeah. I, I don't know if there is any other way. Uh, so any, if any of you have any other technique, uh, just <laughs> write me an email to the proper uh, email. Uh, no, but really good question. Really good question. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Preguntas, <laughs> questions? Alvaro is only coming today. He's not back tomorrow. Oh, just today? Okay. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Hi. Cool stuff. But I, I just want to ask, like, apart from um, doing... Um, the the editorial illustrations. What other field of of illustrations you want to explore, like something like books or something? Or yeah, I I made um, book covers as well for for a while, but I don't know. I'm for I'm I for for now I'm doing uh, editorial illustration. I'm I don't know. I uh, I'm open to to more projects. I'm very interested in the kind of stuff. Uh, companies are doing about technology, for example, but I don't know. I I think I'm I'm very I'm very focused now in in a situation. I'm in my staff. I mean, in my 
my ducks with sunglasses and all that stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hello. Um, Hi. Thanks for the talk. I was just wondering about when you said you left like all of the like social media services and Netflix and all of this. Um, have you gone back to them since? Sorry? Have you gone back to having a Netflix account and having WhatsApp again, or are you still... Since Christmas? Yeah. No. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no. No? And how no. do you find, like, navigating, like, even with your friends now, like, or people, do you find that you can still live uh, and exist and still, like, meet people and communicate, you know? Because okay. it's something that I try to do to be as, as like, far away from that yeah. as possible, but it can be difficult as well to actually communicate. Yeah, to to have a, a social life, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I take it into account, this is a, obviously, this is a difficult moment uh, because we are, we are, it's not possible to hang out with people uh, so frequently, like, yeah, good question as well. Um, very, very smart students. You <laughs> Mark, <laughs> thank you so much for this. No, really good question. Um, if I have to be honest, I, I, I'm, I have some doubts about that. I'm still figure it out. Uh, what is the best version of that? I mean, I, I just want to do it as, um, as an experiment. If it is not going well in the end of the year, I'll let you know. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Don't do it for now. Don't do it. Uh, I, I'm, going, I'm going to do it for you. And yeah. I'll let you know if it's a good idea or not. Great. Um, Great. I don't know. It's, yeah, definitely it's a, it's a weird moment. Uh, but um, I, I want to believe that there is uh, other ways. Uh, it doesn't have to be like zero percent, like one hundred percent. Like I don't know, uh, but I'm going to find what is the that percent. Uh, Let me know. Uh, what um, what part I'm more comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um. Also related really with that, I wanted to ask you, like, apart from having more time, what other positive things do you think like quitting all these thing is um have um get to you I, uh, uh, if there is um um like positive things of quitting social media and all that stuff yeah obviously yeah. like having more time to experiment if and stuff but other things that you have learned things. from that N no no <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, I reconsider them that. <laughs> and also, no. I well. No, obviously, uh, I uh, obviously, I mean, uh, uh, before I was checking my Instagram, like I don't know, like twenty thousand times per per second, and and now, like I don't have anything to do. Like, uh, I don't have like notifications in my WhatsApp, like me memes or. Uh, all that stuff, and so I don't know. It's it's um, it's a different experience in some way. I don't know. It's uh, another way to to don't check my, your phone constantly. Um, I don't know, but it's it's interesting. Uh, at least as a, as an experiment. I mean, it's in uh, in the context of an experiment. It's it's interesting. Good, good question. Uh, I'm living under the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, that was uh, um, that was something that I was concerned. Uh, oh, if I live in Sarah now, nobody is going to hire me. Um, but I don't know. I didn't see an obvious difference. If I have to be honest. But again, as I said, let me tell you. In one year, maybe I'm going to live in the in uh, under the bridge, and I'm going to say, "Hey, Mark, <laughs> give me work, come <laughs> give me." <laughs> so, so I don't know, but it's something. Again, it's something interesting for me to try because you know, if I talk with friends, 
um, friends like uh, friends, uh, illustrator uh, friends, they they said, hey, you you shouldn't uh, leave Instagram because it's the only way you can show your work and and you know it's yeah maybe it's maybe but I I want to see if that's that's the reality. I, I want to learn if that's real. I mean, if, if uh, after a year I'm still receiving assignments, maybe it's not so important. Maybe yes. Maybe maybe it's, I don't know. But but yeah, it's a, it was a concern for for me that one of the reasons I wasn't so sure about leaving Instagram. Let's see. Let's see. Other questions. Well, I've got two more. <laughs> Here. Yeah, no. Do you yeah. still reach for companies or you or like all the reputation or the contacts you already have you get the work from them like instead? Yeah, a couple a couple of news but you know, I I'm fortunately uh, I have to be honest, I'm fortunately because the the work I do uh, there are so much sponsor uh, I mean with New York Times if you work with clients like that I mean, in the end, other clients. I'm going to see your 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 work, fortunately. So in that part, I'm in some way lucky because uh, even if I'm not so present in on Instagram, I mean my my work is in other publications. So yeah, as I as I saw in the in the end, uh, for example, after a New York Times assignment, a, a client, a new client. Uh, contacted me. Hey, I saw your work in New York Times. Uh, he 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 didn't say. Hey, I saw your work on Instagram. No, it's, it was uh, through New York Times. So, so yeah. So some some news. And last thing, um, <laughs> uh. when you used to do like this more formal work and stuff, do you think you uh, gain more money than? Now that you're doing like more crazy things or going like more, I, uh, sorry, could, could you repeat? <laughs> I, I have money and I, 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 I. <laughs> no, when you were doing like more formal stuff or more like, um, like yeah, like crazy stuff. Or, yeah. Uh, if now I that you're if doing I do like more formal stuff for clients currently, yeah, yeah. Like, do you have more? Um, like, do you had like more? Well, you no, it's not the thing. I don't even know what I want to say. But like when you were doing like less crazy design stuff, you received like more assignments, more assignments than yeah. now than I'm doing. Like, were you more confident? Yeah, I <laughs> honestly I don't see the difference. <laughs> I'm not, m I'm not more, I'm not richer. I'm not like, I'm not. No, 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 I, I don't, I don't see. I mean, in my bank account, you, you say, my no? bank account <laughs> is, 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 is always full. It's always full. <laughs> Let's do crazy things. So, <laughs> thank you. That's it. No, thank you. Hi, thank you again. Um, I just have a question. Uh, all these deadlines that are you must send it within one day and stuff. Like for me, it sounds super scary, and I was wondering, um, have ever uh, have it ever happened to you that they didn't like it, or like how does it work if I don't know, they ask someone, especially on the first time, to do the illustration and they need to post it, and then you send something and they're like, uh. <laughs> 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 I cannot even imagine like how yeah. does how. No, no. No, no, it's still, it still is, is very scary, scary for me. And it's uh, when the clients, uh, they are like, hey, surprise, I have a couple of hours for you. And it's like, oh, thank you. Um, and you know, as um, well, as, as everything is a practice. I mean, the first time, uh, obviously, it's, it's more difficult. But when you, when I, I did like, 100 or, or 200 images. I mean, obviously, anything you practice is it becomes easier. Um, but to your question, that if any time, like, hey, I don't have anything, <laughs> or or no, I mean, 
uh, I, I really love uh, like short um, deadlines because no matter what, you are going to send things. Like, uh, I mean, I, I didn't have any 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 moment where where I said to that director, "Surprise! I don't have anything." No, no I, I I I mean, sometimes you send better sketches, sometimes you send like sketches like uh, these, like. <laughs> No, uh, but have they ever told you like no we don't like it you need to yeah obviously um there are sometimes uh, sometimes there are uh, sketches that they don't work and they ask you hey can you send more sketches and maybe they help you because after all they are, are directors and they know how to do their work just in case uh, there is a stupid illustrator um and no but they help you like hey uh, remember the article is more about this idea in particular can you do this with that or you, you know after all they are very supportive for example in the in at my first time working for the new york times I, I, it was a nonsense I, I mean it was my very first time working i, I didn't know how to do uh, sketches like uh, so so thanks to the help of the art director and yeah so it's a practice it's a practice like, okay. like everything. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, uh, no, thank you. Thanks for your talk. Um, I think it's quite easy to get into this pattern of working a lot, and you mentioned it happened to you, and then you burned out. What do you do nowadays to avoid that, or do you just go back into working all the time and then <laughs> you realize you're right there again? <laughs> Good question. Uh, how do you how do you maintain that that um, path? Good question. Um, now I try to have a healthier life. I try. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. A uh, big difference, for example, was uh, exercise. So, so silly as that. I mean, like, exercise, uh, um, food, sleep. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, me, me neither. Me neither. Um, you know, I was so bad uh, at doing exercise. And you know, it's, I I hire a personal trainer, super expensive, <laughs> super expensive. But it's the only way I go to the gym because somebody is waiting for me. It's, it's the only way. Uh, before I was like very good excuses. I was a master of very good excuses. Oh, today is raining, <laughs> and today I don't have. That. It's not my fault. It's raining. Uh, so now, even if it's raining, uh, somebody's waiting for me at the gym. So is this uh, is living this life uh, and like in a way of don't trust yourself <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't trust your criteria. <laughs> don't trust. Um, and I, I have actually some tricks in, in my life, like don't like trying to to do that stuff. Like, uh, like no, but. I don't know, silly things, like silly things like sleeping eight hours. So silly, but so true. Yeah, hi. Eight hours, no. Um, yeah, but, but this is true. Food, food, good food. Not bad food, good food. <laughs> no, everybody knows about good food and, and bad food. Uh, or different, uh, there. Um, yeah, that, that kind of stuff. I maintain uh, meditation. I mean, I, I was I was the last person of trying uh, trying that kind of stuff. I promise. Um, but I don't know. Everything works. Um, and obviously, after a while, I'm more I'm more aware of the things uh, th and that help me to have a healthy life and the things that. And it's maybe it's different for you, and it's different for you. And so it's, try, it's finding your, the things that work for you. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, another question, like, because I also um, do illustrations, and I always, I mean, and and I always ask myself, like, if I want to do this forever. Huh. So I want to ask you, like, do you want to do this forever? Oh. No. <laughs> do you want to do like? following years i don't know yeah i don't know um uh, if 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 uh, they open barcelona uh, someday uh i don't know i i would love to do all this stuff i, I honestly i i i'm not sure uh what kind of stuff um i would love to do maybe maybe vacations i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but yeah definitely i would love to try something different at some point of my life, at some point. But I'm still trying to figure out what I can do more. For now, uh, I do this. And, and I have to say, I really enjoy uh, the uh, now. I, I enjoy more my, 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 my work now. And I learned a lot. But I would love to, to learn from other uh, projects, other kind of projects as well. But uh, honestly, I, I, I'm still trying to figure out what kind of projects, what, uh, I don't know. If, if I find the kind of project, uh, I, I will tell you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, thank you. Hi. Um, is there any dream project you secretly have in the back of your mind that you would be super excited about getting contacted for? Um, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's, it's a very good question, but... You know, I, I'm, I discovered that uh, I'm really happy in now in this balance of pandemic... No, no. Uh, in this balance of uh, work for clients and personal staff. Um, I don't know if there is a... If there is a dream job, maybe a um, a cover for the next Rihanna album. I don't know. Really. <laughs> That'd be nice, yeah. uh, you do you want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but but yeah, I try to not be. Uh, I try to be open to the assignments uh, because it's funny, but but I uh, when I started, I didn't have like dream jobs, but all this stuff came to me, like, and, and I'm, I'm still impressed. I'm impressed. Of, so, for me, it's like, um, yeah, that's just wait and, and do a stuff. Like I, I try to do a stuff. So I, I want to believe is that if I do a stuff uh, at some point, it's going to be the stuff that clients are going to ask me to do. So. Fingers crossed, uh, Rihanna with a dog with sunglasses in the cover. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Which project are you the the most proud of that you did? Oh, good question again. Yeah, um, proud. Uh, I don't know. Let me let me let me try another approach to that question. I don't know if proud, but I have a story. I have a story. Uh, Mark. Uh, uh, okay, okay, because it's uh, three hours, uh, three hours a story. Uh, once upon a time, no. Uh, but I received one day a, an assignment um, for a book cover. Uh, it was uh, for a book, um, the author, uh, the name was Alex Banayan. Uh, it was a super young guy, like a uh, uh, guy with uh, this goal uh, of uh, the guy was lost, like, like uh, he didn't know what to do with his life, like typical, <laughs> super young, like uh, 20, 20, 20 years, I think, 20 years old. Uh, he wanted to understand what uh, people, successful people, uh, uh, do, did with their lives in the beginning of their careers, just to understand the beginnings of, of successful people. So this super young guy in LA, living in LA, I think, uh, wanted to um, interview like random people like Bill Gates or Lady Gaga or this or Mark Zuckerberg, and he did it actually. Um, 
they they said, okay, so we have to find the proper person to do the cover, and they said, yeah, Alvaro de Miguel now, and so they sent me the co the assignment, and you know, like like any assignment, I mean, you have to read it, uh, and and with books, I have to say my wife helped me a lot because she reads super fast, like super 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 fast, and um, so we read the book. And I, I wasn't at, at first like crazy about books, so it was like, um, but yeah, we we read the book, and we started to, I don't know, to 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 uh, learn about, I don't know, people like, yeah, Bill Gates, Lady Gaga, all this stuff. But suddenly names like um, in, in very um, a, a people who inspired this guy too, like. Tim Ferriss, who is a guy with a podcast, like for example, and we like um, us, we we are like, who is this Tim Ferriss guy? Like we started to to check uh, his website, his podcast, and we started to listen uh, this podcast. And this guy again, like, uh, interviewed to I don't know to like very successful people, like 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 uh, I don't know one of the um, last. Uh, interviews, like for example, Matthew McConaughey, for example, that, that kind of level, that is <laughs> like level, no, like level, and and I I started to learn a lot about this uh, this podcast, for example, and and I don't know, it's, and f without that book, I in some way I I see my life a little a little bit different. So it's that kind of of project that you don't expect uh, is not a dream job, uh, but it changes it change you in some way. Um, of course, I sent you the sketches and they didn't like it, so they <laughs> went with the other cover and just that. But yeah, I'm really happy with that, um, with that um, assignment, uh, even though the cover it didn't uh, work in the end. I, I did like a lot of sketches, but I'm in some way I'm super super lucky to have done that or have given the opportunity to to do that project, even though the the cover didn't work out. But I learned a lot, so in some way that was like perfect project. A, per, a project when you learn, a project when you are paid and you do you don't do the job, you don't do the the, the work. So yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, one last question: Have you thought about now with your insights of like working the w or like shifting the way you work and also shifting your style of work to use these insights and like teach about this or write a book now as you started reading as well or yes, whatever? That, that's why um, I started to to. That's why I I contact I contacted Mark. I don't know. I I thought. Maybe this is interesting uh, because I uh, and it, it it all happened because um, uh, I had a, 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 a talk um, in, like in, in person in New York <laughs> like last year and there was this small thing called COVID and uh, in the end I I couldn't. And they said, hey, but no problem, uh, we have this thing called Zoom. Zoom, and I said, sure, okay, we can, we can do it uh, online. Um, it was for the SBA, for the School of Visual Arts in, in New York. And I said, okay, uh, and it went really well, I, I have to say. And, and, the, and the teacher uh, who knew my work, like my, my professional work and personal work, uh, he said, "You know, uh, I love your professional work, but uh, please, can you can you talk for about your personal work uh, as well, for, about your crazy stuff?" And, and I said, "Like, really? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? This is interesting for for the the student." And he said, "Yeah, yeah. Uh, talk about that." Uh, like, and and but but honestly, I, I wasn't sure about about this. Uh, and I started to see the, uh, in thanks to this talk, and this was like March uh, 2000, uh, 2020, uh, that I started to think, oh, maybe maybe this is interesting because because the feedback of that uh, talk, that very first talk, 
was um, like very interesting. Actually, the, the, the feedback of the students, the feedback of the of the of the teacher, and after that, I received like uh, uh, emails from from the students as well, may, um, asking me questions about all this stuff. Um, I said, okay, maybe I can, maybe this is interesting, and, and I started to reach out uh, universities and schools, and uh, I don't know, um, I don't know, but I'm I'm still learning, but I kind of think that yeah. It's, um, it's interesting, but it's interesting for me as well, because I'm learning through this process as well. Yeah. And this, this talk, for example, is the, is the, is the result of maybe 10, 10 conferences, no, may, maybe more, right? or 15 or something like that. I don't know. No, may, maybe 15, no. or maybe 10, no, maybe <laughs> three, three, no, no may, maybe 10, 10 more or less. Amazing, thank you. Yeah. I think we are all very grateful that you spoke so honestly oh, about this with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I have another question. Um, just when you were saying that like you read a lot of books and stuff, what what do you think was the thing that you connected with with the comedy writing so much? Because oh, like, I love yeah. I love comedy, but I just want to know if you were saying that you were feeling so insecure before. I'm sure comedy as a profession is something that they they deal with a lot. Uh, what with, was it for you? With uh, for me, yeah. Do you say no, just what what uh, did you connect with the most? Uh, how how I connected? Um, I don't know. A, a comedy humor in general is something that I don't know. In some way, I was interested in in some way in my life but but it wasn't something that I use for my work and I didn't use in my persona neither in particular but I knew that I like jokes for example I like funny stuff or memes or comedies or but I didn't use I didn't use humor in my life um, in some way I understood, I'm not sure if wrongly, that you can't be um, playful or you can't use humor in your daily life or your daily work because that means you are not serious, for example. You are not serious and you are not worthy to uh, hire or something like that. I don't know, it's, it's, that, that is a strange feeling. I, I'm not sure if, if that happens to any, any, any other, anybody else. But that's something that I interiorize in some way. Like I have to be serious. I have to be... Um, so through this process, these uh, like images and, and with more, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, doing this stuff, it helped me to, I don't know, to like, an onion, seal, layer by layer, like, oh, I, I really like this and really like that. I really like the, oh, humor. Uh, sounds like something interesting, something like I can use. Maybe I can use it, maybe not. Maybe what is going to say my friends? What is going to say clients? They are going to hire me. Oh, they are going to, they are hire me. So, so it's still, it's, it's a process. It's, it's a process, and, and yeah, and I'm discovering other things. Like, but humor, it was a um, big change. So and yeah. do you think that like you have a a natural uh, like process when you receive a project or something? Is your first thought like the funny side of it, or the like you know the the joke side of it, or how you can? Or like, is there a serious side that you have to think first, or is like the first reaction, mm -hmm. oh, I find this part of it funny or something, you know? Yeah. Um, can so you turn that off? Like, can you turn off the funny side? Or <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's super easy. Turn, turn it off. <laughs> it's super easy. Now, um, uh, yeah, good, good question because sometimes it's a balance of the what needs the article, what needs the publication, what is the, what is, it's understanding the, the client as well. Sometimes, sometimes I send uh, sketches, like very funny sketches, like nonsense sketches to 
to uh, for an article that is not particularly funny and the uh, and the art director and me is like yay here are some sketches and the art director says like yeah too funny like, can you do this like that's funny um i don't know it's it, still yeah it's it's a process and um, being aware of the article, the correct article, the correct publication, the correct moment, that, yeah, sometimes is, is not a proper uh, assignment, sometimes, but, but I tried anyway, and sometimes it's a surprise, uh, and it's like, oh, I didn't think they were, one, they were going to put that thing for um, an article about this serious topic, so you have to try it, and sometimes it works. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. In the in the for, uh, in the same way, like for example, you are with people, for example, and you try a joke, and sometimes it works, and sometimes not. It's, it's the same process. It's the same. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, I have yeah. a question. You you mentioned a lot, like you 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 sent sketches, so. Specifically, I'm imagining several stuff, so I don't, I, do, I want to know what do you specifically mean by sketches. Are they like hand-drawn sketches or like quick collages or like uh, yeah. and then refined at the end or yeah? Exactly, I I do sketches, sketches. Yeah, thank you, thank you for the clarification. <laughs> I do sketches in Photoshop, like very, very quick uh, collage with the stock images sometimes. Um, when they gave me the approval of any, any of them, uh, then I start with the process of and refine that, that sketch. Uh, for example, maybe uh, it's a couple of stock images combined, or maybe it's a 3D, or maybe it's, yeah, but those sketches at in the very first steps, there are uh, just a Photoshop collage. Of, yeah. I, I want to go back to comedy real quick because I also found Love it. Uh, can, uh, Mark, can, can I do the next uh, conference about comedy? Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just find it very interesting, uh, yeah, that you like would mention comedy writing and like autobiographical comedy books yeah. um, because I feel like comedy has a very and I think that this is why I like comedy it might also be why you like it <laughs> but like comedy has a very specific way of communicating you know you have a setup you have a punchline there's rhythm there's oh, yeah. you have to have like really good timing and I feel like I don't know looking at another form of expression can also like inform illustration or whatever else you're doing so there's no question <laughs> I, I love it no no uh, uh, do they come did you do you do comedy uh, no but I'm very funny <laughs> you know? that, that is the perfect start actually <laughs> <laughs> no but I'm very interested in comedy I mean like I think that um, yeah, like what, what I was just saying, I mean, like the way of expressing a joke and how you do need to have timing and sensitivity. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of the subjects that you were touching in your work, I mean, we're talking about like newspapers and like yeah. Newsweek is not like a funny magazine, you know, but like it did have yeah. humor yeah. in it. And, and well, humor mm. also connects to humanity. Exactly. So, I mean, all these publications are for, believe it or not, for people <laughs> making, uh, I mean, they, they, uh, they, they, they are people. This week is not like uh, an entity, like uh, abstract identity. They, they are people um, working for making a, a magazine for people. So I don't know. Humor is, is an incredible tool, like humor, like any any other tool, uh, to communicate, to communicate in a deeper way. Um, so I don't know, I don't know, I, I'm, but yeah, yeah, I, I learned a lot and I'm still learning, uh, reading comedians' memoirs. I, I, I love them, I love them, yeah.
<laughs> hey, send me, send me an email if you remember the, the question. <laughs> but to the proper email, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry? Which, which one? Which is the right one? Ah, the right, the right one, the, the, the normal one. The normal, the normal one is Rihanna. Uh, that is the normal one. Uh, and then, if you are interested in any other, uh, and you, can, you can choose, of course. <laughs> Whenever you're working on something like the, co the Times cover, how the the cover the sorry. cover for the Times magazine that you did with all Times. these like democratic yeah. politics? Uh, yeah. You, how did you know? We have to talk like very serious in a very serious way if we are talking about time, politics, so. especially. So we are talking about time, right? <coughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Um, my question was: Yeah. How do you know who these people are? Like, how do you keep yourself informed? Like, why would the Times magazine? Or Times Magazine come to you, an international Barcelona-based illustrator, to talk about American politicians. Like, yeah. did you did you know who these characters were, or like, is this part of your research that comes from the work that, like, whenever you get the brief from the magazine, then you have to like know who Kamala is, know who Joe Biden is, and who AOC, and why to put her where, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um... You, you, when you receive the, the the assignment, you have to do that research. Uh, yeah, that's that's very important. Sometimes I don't, I don't know the, the characters in, in in the cover or in any assignment um, because sometimes uh, it's it's impossible to know all the characters. Especially if you're talking about like different countries. You know? Yeah, but still, obviously, we are very aware of the American politics and uh, the international politics, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's part of that research. Yeah. Thank you. As a follow-up question, have you ever questioned uh, the um, article itself? So, sorry, I didn't Have understand. you ever questioned the article itself? Because you have oh. to do a representation on it, right? Yeah. If you not agree, if you don't agree with it, what do you do? Or if I, you I'm always agree with the person who pays. Yeah. <laughs> That's very privileged of you, but okay. <laughs> no, uh, no. Obviously, I mean, I don't remember any time when I said, "Oh, this is so wrong. It's against my values." I don't remember any any time. Uh, yeah. No. I don't know. I don't know. I, I yeah. I don't. I, I don't work for Fox, <laughs> for example, the, the channel, but which is very biased. And, but uh, yeah, I mean, I yeah. I don't. I don't find. I didn't find that situation. But it's um yeah. It's a good question. If if an article uh, challenges your your in some way your values, what do you do, right? And uh, you you continue with the with the assignment or or not? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I I I don't know. I, I actually I I I didn't find in that uh, situation. But yeah, maybe it's uh, maybe you have to follow your 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 criteria. Yeah, like I don't know. <laughs> I just have a quick. Uh, question if you had a favorite comedian and if so or like which book you would recommend the most if you had to recommend one a uh, book about co comedy yeah like which one would you recommend the most okay mark again uh, how is the time uh, <laughs> you, only, you only can say one <laughs> okay uh, only one ah oh, so difficult uh i don't know one of the first uh, books uh, it was the steve martin memoir Steve, Steve Martin, and I don't know if it was if, if it's because it was. Oh no, uh, the, it wasn't the it wasn't the the first one. Uh, the first one it was. Um, I remember.
remember the, the name of the guy. But the Steve Martin, the, the, the memoir of the Steve Martin is, is very interesting. Also, it's, it's from another completely different era. So it's not so based in the technology we have now, it's not so based in the process uh, or in the networking we can do now, thanks to uh, our social media and all that stuff. So it's kind mm -hmm. of interesting to learn from a different era, from a person who is now, I don't know, maybe 70 years old or so, which is, it is it's very interesting to, to learn from these people. Favorite comedian? Oh my! Oh yeah, it's, it's true. It's true. It's true. That was my my. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a hard question. It depends the moment. I, I think there are moments when you prefer one. Like, uh, but I don't know. It's Steve Martin. I really like Steve Martin. Actually. One question from me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Among the audience are the students from the editorial design master. And oh, okay. They they started yesterday like a, a new project that it's on on our direction, and we are uh, for the first time making work them together with the illustration student ma uh, master oh. students. So okay. they are together illustrators and editorial designers to try to learn what how to work as an art director and with an art director. So I guess that you are confronted with art directors uh, on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. What is for you uh, the, a nice art director or when <laughs> an art director is, is doing like a good role on how, how, what is your expectation from an art director? Uh, wow, this, this is a tricky question. Thank you so much, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky question, indeed. Um, well, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, art directors. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's, it's difficult uh, because it's it's a same it's so different. I mean, it's um, I I really love when so basic, like for example, all the information. I, that, that is super important. I, when I receive an assignment, so important to have all the information. And when, when, I, when I say all the information, like for example, uh, size of the image, budget. No, I, let me say it. budget. Okay, first, <laughs> budget. <laughs> because so, 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 so silly. Sometimes I receive assignments and they didn't say, they, they don't say the budget. And it's like, oh, for me, it's very important. Uh, it doesn't care if you are a uh, very well-known publication or whatever. Um, but that is my part. That is the part I'm very interested in, you know, or the size, the, 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 all that stuff. I mean, um, that is very basic. Um, I don't know, but a part of that, uh, it's just a process. It depends. It's not our directors. It's, it's people. It's, it's, and it depends. Uh, but you expect from them that they would they would challenge you to go somewhere else is not expected. You like mm. them to be like very directive, or yeah. do you prefer that they are more like on the suggestion side? It's. I guess that this is yeah. maybe probably the question that raises in their in their mind of the now are working together with. In the beginning, I, I like to have uh, a space to come up with ideas. I appreciate when our directors uh, say, hey, um, this is the article, um, just in case, uh, here are a couple of ideas, for example. But I hear that ideas, uh, those ideas. I appreciate the help, um, but I really like the space of me coming up with ideas. I, I think it's necessary. I mean, because I, after all, I have to enjoy the process. If I, if I do directly the idea of the art director, I mean, it's just, yeah. I mean, here's the voice and send, send the money. Uh, but um, I, I, I like that space uh, of, okay, I hear your ideas. 
uh, sometimes they, they don't they don't give you ideas. Sometimes it's just here's uh, the article, and, and it's like okay, perfect. Um, but uh, I, I trust after all, I trust the, the criteria of the art director. I mean, I, I learned a lot through art directors. It's, it's, it's what is they have experience, and so I I learned a lot uh, from art directors. But I need that space as well. I need that space to come up with the stuff uh, I want because sometimes actually they say, hey, I really like, um, just in case, here's an idea. But I sent other, I sent the, the idea uh, for uh, of uh, the sketch of that idea, of those ideas, uh, but I sent ideas, uh, my, my ideas. And sometimes uh, they say, oh, thank you so much for sending this other idea because it's actually better or it works in a better way. So I don't know, I understand it's a collaboration. Uh, I, and I think in a collaboration there is a space for adding uh, all the parts. And of course, it's always welcome the, the help of the art director. And it's, it's really, really appreciated, of course. I don't know. Uh, it was it was a uh, correct res response. I don't, I don't know the right or the it, wrong it answer. It was. <laughs> it's, a, it's a difficult subject. It, it, it's, it's difficult, so right? It's, it's difficult. important. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice to hear the, how each one understand yeah, 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 no, the no. role of an art director. No, no. It's um, yeah. Uh, I I have the the thing is I have the all the talk uh, very very uh, well prepared. But the questions always surprise me, and this is a very good question, actually, and I'm not completely sure I, I respond <laughs> to the question, <laughs> but if I have any other uh, better response, I'm going to send you, <laughs> just in case I can help. <laughs> Hi. Uh, sorry, I wanted to ask you, is, like, in addition to what you just said, I mean, when working with people, how do you deal, or do you have to deal actually with blank space, like blank page, especially when coming to humor? Because if you're hired for your work as a humoristic person or illustrator, and you're told like, okay, so tell me a joke, yeah, so <laughs> probably <laughs> it won't be funny. But how yeah, do you do that? I, yeah, yeah, uh, sometimes, yeah, it's not. It doesn't happen all the time, like, hey, like, do uh, something funny, <laughs> clone, <laughs> come on, like, uh, no, but sometimes, yeah, it's like, oh, I love your, the funny stuff, do you do, can you do this, yeah, so it's like, invent a, a, a joke, um, so, yeah, the, the, blank, uh, the blank page, I mean, is how, how to overcome the, that blank page, that blank page uh, is overcome sometimes with bad sketches. Sometimes you, you start with with doing the sketches, doing the sketches, more sketches. And for me, it's like if if I have to do in theory like ten sketches, I try to do like fifty sketches or one hundred sketches. For me, I discover in this in this process of making uh, personal stuff that um, to overcome that fear, that initial fear, is, is uh, very helpful, like, okay, I have to do like 100 sketches to overcome that initial uh, fear, because in that quantity I can find, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully a, a little bit of uh, quality. Um, so yeah, sometimes, sometimes a blank page is overcome in the beginning, but the sketches is so simple as that. that you try to to improve those bad sketches. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it's funny or not. Or sometimes not. <laughs> Thank you. We free Alvaro for today, no? What what time is it? Is it, is it still Wednesday? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> I think I have one last question. No, go ahead. It go ahead. seems that apart from photographers and art directors or the team from the respective magazine, you 
work mostly alone or with your wife? Um, oh no, with my with my wife, no, no, no. no. Where she helps you a bit reading and doing the research. Um, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but is there someone whom you really look up to or who you yeah. really would like to work with when they yeah, yeah my my goal is is just make a stuff for for her is uh, all this stuff is is uh, if if she laughs it's a good sign so so yeah yeah is yeah is is my is my goal is my secret goal <laughs> sell it or did i understand it properly uh -huh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, if, if, no, no, sorry. My, my English is like. No, yeah. no it's my ears. I, I just <laughs> I just learn English, so. <laughs> no, but if she laughs, uh, if she laughs of uh, an idea and a sketch, uh, it's like uh, hey, I have to do these sketches for for I, I I did these sketches for for this assignment. If she laughs of an idea. The, that's a good sign. And <clears throat> actually, it's, it's weird, but sometimes she says, no sentence, like 99%, like it's, it's nonsense, eh? like it's super high, like 99% of the, of the times she says, like, oh, okay, I, I, I like this one. And it's, it's the one the art director picks. So it's, it's crazy, I don't know, it's, uh, she's super natural. She's, uh, <laughs> Ooh, everybody would need a partner like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she's, uh, I'm, I'm super, I'm super lucky. She's, um, she's super supportive. I mean, uh, a person living with you, with, with you, uh, that comes to you with all this crazy stuff, like, and hey, what do you think, like, about these dogs with sunglasses? What do you think about these horses? What do you think about this cover for time? What do you think? Of it? It's like, what, what the fuck? What, the, what is this? And she's always super supportive, and and it's not that kind of person that he says, oh, don't don't do that because we have, you know, we have to pay the the apartment. Stop to do the stupid things. And she's she's actually the the opposite. She's like. Do more, do more, do more, do more, do more, and that is super, super difficult to find because we are, we are, uh, yeah, I mean, we, and we, we, we are uh, attached to, to I don't know, to I, it's, uh, it's uh, sometimes I, I guess sometimes I, I ask myself, oh, this is a good thing, this is the way uh, I don't know, but, but. Um, yeah, it, it was it works for for us and, and yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Alvaro. I, 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 I sorry, I can do uh, another conference another day about my wife. <laughs> just <laughs> about my wife. Yeah, <laughs> if you want, if you want. I don't know what's the trophy, but you are the winner of the guest who received more questions. Okay, so. Oh, Thank, you, very Thank much. you. Thank you, guys. <laughs>